In this video, you will meet a man who saved the lives of more than 600,000 people from hunger. And he served more than anyone in Afghanistan and even sacrificed his life for the people of Afghanistan. Tetsu Nakamura was born on September 15, 1946 in the city of Fukuoka in Fukuoka Prefecture in the north of Kyushu Island, Japan. He completed his primary education at a school called Noga Nishi and completed his secondary education at Sinan Gakuin. Tetsu Nakamura graduated from Kyushu University School of Medicine in 1973. In 1984, during the occupation of Afghanistan by the Soviet Army, Nakamura first worked as a volunteer in a clinic related to a non-governmental organization called Japan Transboundary Medical Services in Peshawar, Pakistan, to help treat leprosy patients. Initially, he wanted to stay for five to six years in Peshawar, the city that housed the largest community of refugees from the Afghan war. With the fall of the Soviet-backed regime in Afghanistan and the victory of the Mujahideen, Nakamura expanded his field of activity inside Afghanistan, and in 1991, he opened three clinics in Nangarhar province in the east of this country to help the war-torn people of Afghanistan inside their country. While working in Afghanistan, Nakamura found that the biggest problem of most of the patients who came to his clinics was malnutrition. From then on, he expanded his activities to agriculture and irrigation with the slogan, Water, Not Weapons, in addition to medical aid to the people of the region, and focused on building canals and water supply projects in eastern Afghanistan. At the beginning of the 21st century, year 2000, a severe drought hit Afghanistan and the region. The consequences of this drought were the increase in diseases related to malnutrition and lack of water in the body. Nakamura said, one water channel for these people is more useful than 100 doctors. He also said, in a hospital, patients are treated one by one, but this work, water supply, helps the whole village. I enjoy seeing a village come back to life after the drought. In 2003, Nakamura built a water supply channel in Kiva district of Nangarhar province. The locals named that channel Pearl. More than 25 kilometers long, Marwarid Canal brings the water of Kanar River to the fields and houses of the people of Kiva district. To build the Pearl Canal, he was inspired by the traditional methods used to build a water supply canal in his hometown, Fukuoka, 200 years ago. Nakamura built more than eight water supply canals in the Gambiri Plain, near the city of Jalalabad in eastern Afghanistan, which irrigates 16,000 hectares of agricultural land and has transformed the lives of 600,000 people. He also built 11 weirs on the Kanar River, Nakamura said. Guns and tanks do not solve problems. Reviving the fields is a fundamental element for improving the situation in Afghanistan. This Japanese doctor and rescuer survived death several times. Once, an American helicopter was nearly killed by machine gun fire. Once again, he risked his life to protect the embankments of an overflowing river. He said, I would like to die here, in Afghanistan. Dr. Nakamura dedicated many years of his life to serve the poor and war-torn people of Afghanistan. He lived in this country for almost three decades and worked to improve the condition of his people. The image of Nakamura that remains in the minds of the people of Afghanistan is an old man who works side by side with people in the poor areas of Afghanistan, shoveling and carrying bags of cement and sand on his back. The Afghan government granted Nakamura honorary citizenship in October 2019. He focused his activities mostly on the eastern regions of Afghanistan. The people of these areas established a close relationship with Nakamura and called him Uncle Murad. On December 4, 2019, armed men attacked the vehicle of Peace Medical Services PMS, in Jalalabad city. Dr. Nakamura was in the car along with five other people, including the driver and a bodyguard. Nakamura and all his companions were killed in this attack. Nakamura, who was sitting in the front seat next to the driver, had been shot five times. After examining Dr. Nakamura's body, the doctors said that the bullet that hit him in the chest and caused his death, eight attackers were involved in the armed attack 
that killed Nakamura and his local companions, three of whom were armed with automatic weapons. The attackers were wearing local Afghan clothes but did not hide their faces. The attackers came to a restaurant near the attack site in two separate cars, and as soon as the car carrying Nakamura approached, they opened fire on it from both sides. However, Nakamura was not killed during the attack and was taken to Jalalabad Hospital. They wanted to send him to the American Military Hospital in Bagram for more effective treatment, but the Japanese doctor died of bleeding at the Jalalabad airport. CCTV cameras at the attack site did not record the scene of the shooting of Nakamura and his companions, but showed the two cars used by the attackers. On December 8th, Nakamura's body arrived in Tokyo, and his funeral was held in Fukuoka on December 11th, attended by hundreds of people, government officials, and the Afghan ambassador to Tokyo. He designed and implemented several irrigation projects in Nangarhar and Kunar provinces in his own way, and hundreds of thousands of people stood up after the drought. Hundreds of thousands of saplings became green and fresh, and the raging water of Kunar province was contained and used. Nakamura was a Japanese-born Afghan and champion of both countries. He dedicated his whole life to Afghans. Nakamura left the prosperous and peaceful life in his country and engaged in humanitarian and development work in Nangarhar province. In addition to health services, in 2003, Nakamura implemented a project to transfer water to Nangarhar agricultural lands with the cooperation of the natives, and his colleague Kazuo Ito was killed by terrorists in 2008, and Nakamura had to continue this project alone. With the operation of the 25 kilometers project, 16,000 hectares of irrigated land and currently 600,000 people provide their water needs. This relief worker also implemented 11 water canal projects for the fertile lands of Nangarhar province and actively cooperated in digging 1,500 deep wells and providing drinking water to 650 residents of this province. The construction of two mosques and two hospitals are among the achievements of this Japanese doctor. At the same time, Nakamura's efforts have received international attention and won the award known as the Nobel Prize of Asia for International Peace. Thank you for watching until the next video.